Okay, I'm back, everybody. Now, this segment is my evening set segment, and um, it is basically about, you know, what's going on in the news. It could be celebrity news, politics, um, conspiracy theories, um, just anything that I think you all might want to hear about. And you can put in comments some of the things that you want to hear about so I'll know what to do these videos on. So this is my evening segment, and I want to talk about President Trump again. Um, I know he's our president and everything, and I do respect him, um, but there are certain things that he does, certain things that he says that I do not agree with. Um, for instance, the way he treated the Asian American reporter, um, I believe it was yesterday. Um, I'm on the CNN business website, and I'm going to just read a little bit of it. And it says, President Trump abruptly ended his Monday message press conference at the uncontentious exchange in which he asked an Asian American journalist to ask China about her question and then refused to take a query from another White House reporter. I'm not going to say the lady's name, but um, a White House correspondent for CBS News asked the president why he sees coronavirus testing as a global competition when more than 80,000 Americans have died. Maybe that's a question you should ask China. This is what Trump said. Maybe that's a question you should ask China. This lady who was born in China and immigrated to the United States when she was two years old. And then he says, don't ask me. Ask China that question, okay? Trump attempted to move on by calling on Caitlin Collins a White House correspondent for CNN, but the other lady, her her name is Jane. I'll just go ahead and say her, her last name is Jane, interjected with a follow-up question. And um, she says, sir, why are you saying that to me specifically? And he says, it's not specifically to anybody. I'm saying it to anybody that asks a nasty question. Why is that a nasty question? Please tell me. You can say what you want. If you are a Trump follower, okay, that's fine. Um, I just don't like the way he treats people. Um, he just says whatever comes to mind. And I just don't think it's right for a president to act in the way that he acts. You know, he's he's the president of the United States of America. And there's a certain way that you need to carry yourself, okay? And I just don't agree with it. And that's just my opinion. You might have a different opinion, and that's fine, you know? But this is my opinion, and I think that he should apologize. I think that apology, an apology is necessary because you don't just... He needs to apologize for a lot of things that he's done and a lot of things that he's said. But I'm not going to stay on that. I just wanted to, um, if you hadn't seen it, bring this to your attention. And it's just something that we can um, discuss in the comments um, if you'd like. Um, but I do not tolerate bashing each other. You will be dismissed and your comment will be deleted if you tend to cuss or, you know, have arguments within the comments. So I just want to make that clear. So that's my, um, my, I guess, my news for today, my news segment for today. <laughs> the coffee shop with the tea. And that's part of the tea. All right. is good this is this is um um lemongrass lemongrass tea is good for you too
And I might do a um, segment on that with my healthy tips on tomorrow. Hopefully, I'll get better and better at this. I'm just so new to recording myself, so just bear with me. I'm going to um, attach the video of the lady and um, President Trump discussion, her question, and what he said to her um, to this video so you'll be able to see it. I hope I can do it. I told, I'm telling you, I'm learning day by day how to do things with this YouTube. All right, you all have a blessed day, and I will see you tomorrow or either the day after because I don't plan on doing it every single day. But um, I'll see you either tomorrow or the day after. Have a blessed one. And we're Bye. still seeing more cases every day. Well, they're losing their lives everywhere in the world. And maybe that's a question you should ask China. Don't ask me. Ask China that question, okay? When you ask them that question, you may get a very unusual answer. Yes, behind you, please. What, sir, why are you saying that to me specifically? I'm telling you, I'm not saying it specifically to anybody. I'm saying it to anybody that would ask a nasty question That's like that. That's not a nasty please question. Please go ahead. Why does it matter? Okay, uh, anybody else? Please go ahead in the back, please. I have, I have two questions. No, it's okay. But we'll you pointed to me. I have two questions, Mr. Next. President. Next, next, please. But you did. You called on me. I did, and you didn't respond, and now I'm calling on Sorry, I just the young to... lady in the back, please. I just wanted to let my colleague okay. finish. But can I ask you Ladies a and gentlemen, thank you very much. Appreciate but it. Thank you very much. Very, very uh, ugly ending uh, to that one-hour appearance by the president in the Rose Garden, uh, refusing to answer our own White House correspondent, Caitlin Collins' question, uh, and... Uh, going after another reporter, uh, several reporters in the course of that one-hour exchange. Uh, you know, at the end, right at the very end, uh, Gloria, of that news conference, uh, the president did something. It, it, it was really, really, as I said, ugly. Uh, uh, an Asian American White House correspondent asked a you know, a right. very reasonable question, uh, and the president then said, "Why didn't you go ask China?" I'm paraphrasing right now about that, uh, and then she wanted to. She wanted to follow up and say, why are you asking me that about China? Uh, and, uh, and our own White House correspondent, Caitlin Collins, paused. She, would, she had been called on to a ask the next, next question, but he wa she wanted to give her colleague an opportunity for a follow-up, and the president wouldn't hear from it, uh, and then he wouldn't even call on Caitlin Collins. But what he did to that Asian-American White House correspondent really was nasty. Okay.